Hello everyone, this is Prop Simran uh, and today we're going to talk about the topic which is calculating probability in logistic regression. So the question given over here is, the situation is a data set of pass and fail in an exam for five students is given the table below. So now if we use logistic regression as a classifier and assume the model suggested by the optimizer will become the following for the odds of passing a course which is log of odds equals negative 64 plus two times the hours. The table over here has our studies at get these values and the result which is you know one or zero which is basically classification. Uh, it, it's categorical values of one which is pass, zero if it's fail. So our the questions we're going to solve is how do we calculate the probability of pass for the student who studied 33 hours which is particularly the student right over here. Uh, we can see from here that the student who studied 33 hours actually passed the exam. So now we want to calculate the probability of the pass. And the second question would be at least how many hours should a student study so that they pass the course with a grade of more than 95%. So before we begin, I would like to introduce a sigmoid function over here. And this is basically the sigmoid curve. Uh, this gives us a S-shaped curve, and um, so basically why the 0 0.5 is uh, highlighted over there is when x is equal to 0, uh, the sigma function is equal to 0 0.5. So we're going to use this uh, for probability, to calculate the probability of the pass, probability of pass for the student who studied uh, 33 hours. So the function that we're going to use now is the probability is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative z. So this will help us uh, calculate the probability um, and the negative z would basically refer to this equation over here which is the log of odds so we can write this as um, that z is equal to negative 64 plus 2 into the hours now since we have now since we know that the hour is hours are um, 33 so we know hours are equal to 33 we could just sub in the hours and calculate the z value so that we could put into this function uh, to find the probability so let's do that now so we would say z is equal to now negative 64 plus 2 into um, 33 this basically it gives us uh, so it's going to be negative 64 plus 66 which equals to 2 so now that we know z value is 2 we, we use this z value right over here and we would kind of just pass it right over here and calculate the probability so let's do that now so we would say probability is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of and now we would sub in the uh, the z value which is 2 so once we put this in the calculator we could see that uh, this the solution over here is probability is, e is going to equal to just do it in the calculator one second and uh, you can pause the video and calculate too so we would solve this as one, one, one. and we would get the probability of 0 0.88 so what this basically means is we can say therefore a student who studies 433 hours has a probability so we could say yes yeah, so it has a probability as 
80% probability so we will write that as 80% probability or we could say 80% 80 chance sorry has a 88% chance of passing the course passing the course so this is solved over here we got the probability 0 0.88 so a student therefore a student who studies for 33 hours has a 88 percent chance of passing the course so now we're going to talk about the second question which is at least how many hours should the student study so that they can get at least like 95 percent or above so over here um, here we're going to solve question number two um, here we know the probability is we're going to choose a 0 0.95 and uh, now we got to find how many hours should the student study so yet again i'm talking about at least how many hours should the student study that make sure that it will pass with a probability of 95 percent so let's do this now we could we could sub it back into the same equation uh, I'll refer to the equation again over here the equation was P is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative Z so now that we have this P value right over here which is 0 0.95 we could solve it as let's choose a new color we could say that this is uh, 0 0.95 is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative z so now that we have so i would notify over here too that we have to solve for z okay now once we let's do this now so we could say so what we'll do is this next step we want to multiply uh, so we want to take out the denom denominator so we want to multiply each side with a 1 plus e to the power of negative z and multiply over here to 1 minus e to the power of negative z sorry 1 plus i'm sorry so um, let me make it clear 1 plus So basically this would cancel out so we would be left with uh, 0 0.95 into 1 plus e to the power of uh, sorry yeah so 0 0.95 into 1 plus e to the power of negative z which would equal 1 and then of course we kind of you know, kind of just sub it in. I'll choose a different color for that. Uh, you could use this. So we want to kind of multiply this. Put this into the brackets. So we would be now we would have um, would have 0 0.95 plus 0 0.95 e to the power of negative z is equal to one. So now since we're solving for z. We could move this number towards this side so i'll point it out again that we move this number here um, so now the solution becomes that 0 0.95 dot sorry e to the power of negative z is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95 now um, calculate this and just to make sure it should be 0 0.05 but we should just check once again so one, uh, 1 minus 0 0.95 is indeed 0 0.05 so what we could see over here now is 0 0.95 uh, e to the power of negative z is equal 0 0.05 now again since we're solving for z we can divide this by 0 0.95 on both sides and see you know the results over here so i'll just use a constant so we know that we're solving for this so we divide by 0 
or let me divide um, let me do this in the other step before if anyone gets confused so we do um, 0 0.95 e to the power of negative z so 0 0.05 divided by 0. Point, oh, let's file this use the correct colors so oops uh, we could say it divided by 0 0.95 0 0.95 I can make a note over here divide both sides by 0 0.95 so now that we have uh, go back we will have just e to the power of negative z now which is equal to uh, this would be 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.95 we would have 0. Point, so we would have 0 0.052 or yeah we'll just keep it 0 0.526 uh, one thing to note over here now the next step is that we take the natural log now uh, so we would just say log n uh, so natural log of uh, e to the power of negative z and the natural log of uh, 0 0.0526 um, we can confirm that now which is we can do ln of So the law states that anything into the natural log uh, just kind of kind of cancel out. So this law is anything. So whatever the exponents are ln of. In this case, the e and e cancel out, and we're left with z. We're just uh, left with negative z. So we could make that here. We just. Uh, negative z is equal to ln of 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.0526 we have 2.94 negative 2.94 so now uh, divide by negative 1 so next step would be uh, next step divide by negative 1 and then 2.94 make the note divide by negative one and then in the we can now change the color we could say well the z value is equal to 2.94 this is great i'll just make it cleaner so 2.94 this is what we need to consider now we could just now we refer um, uh, refer uh, back to the log odds equation odds equation which is uh, so log of odds. equal to negative 64 plus 2 into the hours since we have and then if you remember we did this uh, 2 into the hours now I'll make a note over here is solve uh, for solve for hours and uh, then we would just take this over here which is uh, we would say take the z value which is z is equal to 2.94 so then come back again we would say 2.94 
is equal to negative 64 plus 2 into the hours. Now uh, we take the negative 64 towards the other side. So we bring this here. Do it in the next step. I wanted to show you guys. So we will do 2.94 plus 64 is equal to 2 into the hours. And uh, 2.94 plus 64 is 66.94, 66.94, uh, which is equal to 2 into the hours. Now, it's simple, we need to find hours, so we divide this by 2. So in the next step, we will do 6.94 is equal to 2 into the hours, divided by 2. And things are easy. We have 33.47. 7 is equal to the hours. We can round this to 33.5 hours. And I'll just make the note over here that we divided by 2. Divided. to solve four hours and this is our answer hours is equal to 33 point um, sorry for the call over here and um, so now what we can do is um, just to check we could Put, put this back into the equation, we could say, uh, we could write verify, and we could say P, P is equal to 1 over, uh, what we could do since we have the hours now, and uh, you can just type in, that's equal, we could just say, Z, uh, so Z is equal to do step by step Z equal negative 64 plus 2 into 33.5 which would give us uh, so we would get negative 64 plus um, yeah plus 67 um, and that should be 3 just make sure again is equals to 3 so z is now equal to 3 we could put this back into p is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative 3 and what we would find is this would be approximately um, if we calculate it and this is approximately 0 0.952 so there we have it that's the final solution um, so I would just write it over here therefore student needs to study for a prop 33.5 hours to achieve more than 95% in the course. So there you have it guys. Hope the solution made sense and you can walk through once again how we went through it and I hope this helps. Thank you once again for watching. Take care.